Hello, uh, my name is Janice LaRoche. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator with Stamping Up! And uh, I'm going to make this card today and I'll show you several that I've made at the end using the same set. Oh, not that one. <laughs> this one. Inspiring Iris. It's beautiful irises and uh, this looks like a carnation and a rose. And it's got pretty sayings and stuff in it too. But I also used um, the Happy Birthday from Here's a Card. Um, this Inspiring Iris is a photopolymer stamp set. And this one is a, uh, a cling a red rubber uh, stamp set. And it's got some adorable cute things on it. Like it's all messy. The hair, the house, the heart, life. Um... On that thing you did, I'd give you a standing ovation, but here's a card instead. And this one is, I made you a card because you're worth it. I, I'm, I'm like, oh, they're cute. There's some uh, nice sayings on it. But I'm using the happy birthday because I need a bunch of happy birthdays. And uh, I'll show you the others at the end. And I used a whole bunch of stamp sets. This one mainly for the flowers, but uh, the sayings, I used a different one. So let me get into what you will need. I'm going to put my card right here. On top of all these other cards, there we go. I used um, the Detail Trio Punch because I used this on the inner. Um, I'll show you in a sec. Yeah, I'm going to use that like on the inside here, like so. And okay, let's do this. You will need Petal Pink cardstock that measures eight and a half. By five and a half and is scored at four and a quarter fold and burnish and you know like crease it really well and then this is four by five and a quarter and then I punched out the the holes with a trio punch right so we can put that there right now then you'll need another one four by five and a quarter for your front and a piece of the um, new subtles designer 6x6 six six designer series paper and I'm using the gingham and on this side it's got like little diamondy um, stitched look but I'm going to use the gingham and then for my um, ovals I used both my layering ovals framelit and I used this one and uh, that one I, I probably should tell you the measurements huh? It might help because I don't have them numbered or anything like that. So the largest um, scalloped oval from end to end, like this end, is um, three and almost a half for that one. Then the inner oval with the petal pink is about three and one quarter. And then I used for the stitched shape for the, the smaller one, I used the second one down. There's uh, the four ovals and I used the second one. So um, that's the smaller oval. Right. And I think that is it for there. For your inks, I'm using, using Petal Pink. And I'm going to use Pear Pizzazz for the leaves and, and the bottom of the flower. The, the little carnation flower. So let's get started. It's a really quick, easy card. Um, I'm not going to put that in, actually. I, I have that for another card. I've got purple on it, I just realized. So we'll just leave that blank for the moment. But for this one, what I'm going to do is um, layer that on there. And let me get my... Um, I'll use fast fit. Alright, so we're just going to run it down. Uh, and put it about a half an inch up. Should be good. Get that all off, all the little bits. Uh, and then we're going to chop the ends off with my snaps. So we'll just chop that little bit off we don't need it right so I also oops I'm going to take that off right now my flower what we're going to do is take the this um 
little, little edge piece. I forgot to put it on a block and I just took my flower off of this block. So um, we'll just put it on. Put it down, pick it up. Quite straight, right? Put you up there for now. So what I'm going to do is just stamp this in the petal pink. And put it across here. Like so. You're not going to see, like, you know, wherever I put the ovals. If you mess up, it's no big deal. See, there's a little tiny gap there. We'll stick the oval over that portion so it's not too big of a deal. All right, let me put my flower back on here. That is the flower. Oh, and you'll need um, a mento black. I'm sorry, forgot about that. Right behind me. There we go. All right, so let's do that while we've got it. We'll just take our little small oval and we're going to stamp the carnation. And what I believe this is a carnation. I'm not the best with flowers, but I think it is. So put that there. There we go. And then we have this little uh I thought it was a little tulip. I didn't even realize it was the thing for the carnation. And I didn't put it on my last card. Well, on a bunch of cards. I thought it was a little, well, tulip or rose. <laughs> Oops, wrong color. Oops. Yes, we need pear pizzazz. In the green. For the leaves. Let's see how good we can do this. See if we can get it spot on. Right. It's inked up, inked up. Oh, sorry, my head might go over it. Um, line it up as best you can. Oh, not too bad, not too bad, not too shabby. Right now, I'm going to do that carnation. Oh, wrong way. Um, Tap, 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 and I hope you can see this. I'm just going to go over that. There we go. And there's our flower. How easy is that? I'm not going to put anything on dimensional, so I'm going to leave it as is. And I actually might just use some liquid glue. How about that? Right. Just stick some uh, Tombow on here. And layer it in the center-ish. There we go. Do the same thing again. Good thing about liquid glue, you have a few secs to move it, so if you don't get it exact, whereas if you use tape, it's like kind of stuck on there. Right. Again, we're just going to squiggle some on there. And we're going to go over that piece, so I'm going to do it the opposite. I'm going to put my oval on the left this time instead of on the right there we go and you can use this card for any any sentiments i'm going to uh like i said just use a happy birthday again let's see yep do i want black no i'll do this i'll do it in petal pink in petal pink 
this beautiful font on this uh, happy birthday i love that writing all right i'm going to put you there and voila that is the front of our card and we are just going to use liquid glue again stick it on I'm rather heavy-handed with Tombow. I usually put it in a different bottle as well, and uh, I didn't, so, um, all right, let's even this out. About so, how's that? Okay, a quick and such an easy card, right? Now, if you wanted to, here, I can, Kind of do this. Let's um, I'll just do another one with the purple. We have happy birthday there, so oh, I already have it on the stamp. Uh, a thing we'll put wishing you the best. How about that? And we'll do it on the inside. I'll do another um, Highland Heather one for my next card. I'll show you the um, other ones in a sec, right. So we are going to glue you in here. More Tombow. I'll try and be a little lighter this time. Am I off the camera? Oh, I hope not. Right, 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 right. There we go. I love the detail trio punch. It just gives it that little bit of elegant look. Ah, uh, there we go. And there is our card. And let me show you the others. All right, so here is the one that we uh, copied. So we just did it the opposite. So we have mirror images, right? And then I made this one. I did this one as a sympathy card. And I used... Um, woven threads stamp set for that one and on the inside i did the same thing but i put words can i express the deep sorrow felt on your behalf then on this one i did with just the pale pink and the same thing from the woven threads that's the big long um background stamp i put wishing you a day of love and joy and to my always from your forever, like for a happy anniversary type card. Uh, oh, I've got two here. And then this one I did in the Highland Heather. And that's the big iris in this um, same set. It's the iris. And I did this as a thank you, as a thanks. And I did the um, detailed trio punch on the front as well. And on the inside, I used this from Good Morning Magnolia. It says, thanks, um, not only for what you do, but for being someone so special. So that was from um, the Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. And Thinking of You is another one in the Highland Heather. And on the inside, I've got Sending Hugs, Prayers, and Lots of Love. And that is from here, sending hugs, prayers, and lots of love. And the thinking of you, I can't think where it's from. <laughs> it's not this one, but oh well, it's in one of my sets. <laughs> so that is all the cards I've made for this, this stamp set. And I, I think it's beautiful. And you can make so many different occasions with it. So um, yeah. Go ahead and make you up a whole bunch and uh, just put different sentiments on them and you can give them out for different reasons. And I, I always make a bunch all at once. I never make just one card like that. I always give so many away so it doesn't matter to me. To I'd rather make a bunch than just one. But thank you for watching. If you need any of the products, I will have them listed below. Uh, you could click on the individual links or you could visit my blog on my website and... Uh, on my blog, I'll have all the measurements and all the products that you would need to uh, make the card. 
and uh, thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel um show uh, a little support for me that um i'm doing all right click like click comment and let me know uh, how i'm doing or if there's anything that you'd like me to do uh, or show you or make um i'd be happy to try and do that for you and you all have a great evening thank you for watching bye bye